Hey there, editors. Hey there, internet. Welcome to another episode of the John Graves Show. And today I'm bringing you some more news on Magical Warfare Episode 2 review. Let's get this thing started. So, for Episode 2, they finally start uh, explaining things upon why um, magicians in the real world, why they can't um, attack one another, and why the world is split in two. Because... Because when they go into the mirror and they see the other world, the world, they kind of have to explain that. Of course, um, um, uh, and, uh, and, uh, of course, it is, it is as crazy as, um, uh, as any other prequel to why, why, um, uh, the world is destroyed, destroyed, his story is. Apparent, apparently there was this badass magician who had the ability to call down fucking Dragon Ball Z explosions and shit. So, pretty much his eyeballs kind of did that, and these 15 badass magicians were like, hell no, nah, you're not gonna do that shit. Then they came in, then they did their magic shit, then they stopped them and they split the world into. Now, after this, nobody know, knows what happened to him. He kind of disappeared, so, they're, so man, he's not in so... It's kind of don't know what's what's going on with them, and they do kind of talk about like um, what's the difference between these ghost trailers, trailers, tra travel, uh, trailers, yeah, ghost trailers, and their magic school, and that they are basically the two biggest faces, one being good and one being evil, and then there's all these smaller little um, factions in the middle, but they mostly agree agree with their uh, school, and the um and they and the headmistress um she she jo, she comes and uh she tells them like look i have look i'm 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 uh, i'm glossing over a lot here but i'm basically just trying to sum this shit up so so she gives them a choice of saying like you can either learn magic or i can take your magic and you can go back to the real world or at least or 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 at the very least we can seal it away and from that, it's like, well, yeah, we have to stay now. Especially seeing as that I, especially seeing as that I'm, I'm honestly surprised that they didn't like make the main character kind of um, um, Takeshi. I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, he didn't talk about how much he hated his house, house and shit. Because honestly, from uh, some shit like that, you know, living with your brother and uh, your mother, I can honestly kind of see why, man, he does that because they seem like. <laughs> They seem like they seem like the perfect people who that um uh, you want to be living in the house with. So, so kind of from that, it's like they all. So obviously they all choose 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 to stay. And and in the first um and in the first class, or at least like the first few classes that they were in, they kind of started started. They kind of brought up the idea of that they need a they need a medium. Now they didn't call it that, but I forget what they call it, but. It's called, but they basically need like a medium. They need like an item in order to activate their magic. So, so pretty much, um, Kazami and um, um, Kurumi, they both have their their um, they both have their mediums. But, but um, but uh, Takeshi, he doesn't have his. He has to go in. He he has to go to uh, the weapon shop and get one for his base of magic because he because mostly the only thing he uses is a kendo stick so going there he so yeah that kind of led him to get this super sword called twilight which which if i could sum this sword up in a few ways it's pretty much just i mean like not uh, see like i like this sword's design it's based on one of the actual sword um uh, designs that i actually love and that is the um it's based on the um uh, Kabuto Wari um um swords in uh Japan which you know kind of makes me think of Onimusha and what does this um uh, because that's kind of how the first sword you get the thunder sword and Onimusha 1 looks and what makes this weapon makes me think more of Onimusha is the fact that it is a sword in which that in which that he does get these, it kind of has like this little gun sword thing uh, to it. In which that if he charges other people's magic into the bullet, bullet, and he puts it into the sword, the idea is is that the sword will prop, uh, the sword's properties will change and turn into a different different weapon, or pretty much how the magic used for it will be different. Which 
honestly is something that I thought was really Onimusha like. Now they spent like most most of the episode talking about the history and the uh, and this weapon. Then we cut back and then apparently, you know, uh, Kazami has blown up the classroom because his because his magic has gone out of uh, control. Then after then after that little silly silly moment, we have a little bit of foreshadowing of who our villains are going to be, and it's well now we we really don't get too much on them aside from that they're kind of just some crazy people or at least man like some crazy um uh, centric people who have who which who apparently have teleportation magic so that's kind of all we get get from them until the next episode that's kind of all i have to give you upon the recap this episode was pretty good and hey and hey, it is a good uh, it is a good opener to a show that kind of that pretty much came out of the gates like not nah, too long ago. So until then, please let me know what you guys thought of the of this episode. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Please let me know and put it down there in the other description. So until then, I will see you guys on the next John Graves show. And I am so keep watching anime and keep playing those video games. I am out, everybody.